Hello, my Leos, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. And of course, I am Debbie. Now, I am reading for May 19th through the 25th. I've done my overview, something about wake up time or time to wake up. Watch it. It talks about what's going on as we enter into Gemini season. Other things, too. Now, remember, these are general readings. May or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Having a little block with you. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but I'm asking, okay, you know, well, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. I'm asking, okay, what's going on for, you know, Leos? You know, things are shifting, things are shifting, things are shifting. So I'm not quite sure. I'm like, well, what's shifting? Things are shifting. Then I get some cards that are kind of like, you know, I've been getting a lot of, um, Oh, transformation. I've been getting a lot of release. Uh, you know, that's kind of like the death card where things are ending. Something's about to begin. It's going to be an okay one. It may be a little bit rough, but things are shifting. Things are shifting. And then there's some money coming too. So is this all for this week? I don't know. I don't know if this is this week or if this, but I just keep getting things are shifting. And then I get these vague, something's ending, something's beginning. Um, and money, money. So you tell me, you tell me, higher power, Holy Spirit, can, well, please clarify, please clarify. Things are shifting for Leos. Things are shifting for Leos. So here we go. Keep your spiritual awareness and your spiritual vibrations very elevated, Leos. Okay. First card is ego, ego. So we have ego. There's five, 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 15, change, 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 whether good or bad. One plus five is six. Six is the number of man energies you put into something. Archangel Jophiel. Jophiel's very creative energy, very hopeful energy too. But ego is confronting, I'm, I'm getting kind of like confronting your past, bringing something that maybe wasn't pleasant for you to go through. And now it's time for you to go through it. Now it's time for you to face it look at it and realize the thing about it is realizing that it does not have the power it had over you okay it is no it is no longer powerful you are the one leo that is powerful over this so something and that i yeah like i said i just open myself and say whatever needs to be said now ego is also considered the devil card and the devil in in more of the weight rider or other um other uh, tarot cards but I do like the weight rider because the weight rider is about confronting your fears. When you look at this, you know, there is the, there is the Baphomet, there is the, you know, the skewed pentagram, there is, you know, things aren't quite right. There are the two humans that were once human and now they're losing their humanity. They're chained. All they have to do is take their chains off and they can be freed, but they're afraid to. They'd rather stay with the devil they know then go into the future, into the unknown. So ego is confronting that fear. Because remember, fear is one of the tools of the devil that tries to keep you from your blessings. So this is, there's a couple of things. One is facing something that used to have power over you, but no longer does, a situation, a person maybe even. But the other is confronting your fears and then knowing that there is more. There is more and a brighter future ahead. A false sense of entrapment being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. Again, things are shifting. So here we go. There's some, okay, want to move on, want to move forward. Eight is unlimited opportunities and possibilities. Water energy is our Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. That Neptune, Neptune is bringing up a lot of deep, 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 deep um, wants, dreams from the past, deep emotions from the past also. But the eight of water says, no, you know what? Things are shifting. I want to move on. I want to go forward. I am leaving that behind again. So it's interesting that it's next to the next to ego because here it is. Ego is always a little bit afraid to move forward. But the eight of water is saying, I really have to do this. I really want to move forward. A desire to move on. The search for something more meaningful. The thing about water, though, and this is important for, uh, for Leos out there spiritual and emotional growth that's the thing about water and we have that full moon coming up release relinquish request it is about spiritual it is a spiritual energy 
and it, it could even be embracing that piece of you Leo's next card is the magician so now we go to the one one new beginning new start the magician as a, as in heaven so on earth I think the magician was even in the overview too uh, Archangel Raziel Raziel is you know believed to be the angel that knows the occult the hidden the hidden knowledge the hidden energies and just because it's hidden or unknown does not make it that it's dark there is some dark stuff don't get me wrong but it becomes known it's discovering it's discovering more about yourself it's it's discovering your authority it's discuss it's also about discovering your power this could be leo's that somebody is entering into a very spiritual journey you're you're developing more and more in the psychic or spiritual part and it kind of scares the bejeebies out of you because the magician is the man is the manifester you know this says i can do this so the magician something shifting you are ready you have the resources or the ability to manifest them life is magical so it, you're coming from a place of oh, you know, oh what am i supposed to be doing to i really want to do this to i can do this okay so there is a big shift now it could be physical but there's a lot of metaphysical energy here too a lot of spiritual energy so higher power holy spirit what else for leo going on again something's shifting there's a big shift there's a big energetic shift happening for leos right now okay okay this is the six of air air energy is aquarius gemini libra remember all of the air energies are in play right now all of them pluto and aquarius again you have to go to the begin you have to go to the overview to know more six is the number of man again so one plus one five six number of man number of man moving on going into the light leaving the dark behind things are being revealed something is shifting move you know going i now have a compass or i now have a direction something is directing me you know i'm talking as a leo something is directing leos to move forward now you're feeling the push something's shifting you're feeling the push it feels like it's a very strong ascension energy it's like you know maybe it's like meaning of life energy it is like i know that god has a plan for me and i am going with that flow okay so <laughs> i hope it makes sense to somebody out there it is a very strong flowing energy okay let's see what we have here this is angels of abundance <coughs> oh excuse me and let's see higher power and holy spirit how higher power holy spirit what else for leos what else for leos angels of abundance abundance energy for leos what is there for leos there's big changes big change big change ah this is interesting for leos cooperation instead of competition what's yours is yours and no one can take it from you there's no need to compete as there's an abundance for all you have complete access to unlimited un abundance for yourself and to share with others with cooperative partnerships you can accomplish anything that's interesting hmm. it's already yours leo okay here we go what crystal would be good for leos crystal for leos crystal for leos crystal 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 for leos crystal for leos crystal for my leos or god's leos i should say okay hematite hematite 19 19 is the sun card mental strength root chakra do i have my hematite on this is my hematite hematite helps to uh keep you strong keep your root chakra strong keep you um keep you brave keep that sense of security all around you also it says helps to keep your thoughts strong okay remember look at the bigger picture let's see higher power what other moon energy for leo for okay there we go <laughs> Oh, balsamic moon. A time for healing. Interesting. A time for healing. I imagine there's many out there that need this. 
Alrighty, my Leos. Any of this makes sense to you? Kind of. Uh, you know, I'm a Leo too, and I was like, oh, it kind of makes sense to me. Anyway, please do me my favor because it's important. It helps. It's a little thing that you can do, and it helps me big time. Please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, whether you're watching me on YouTube or Rumble. As always, though, my Leos, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.